everybody, Opsity here, and today we're going to be exploring the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod. I'm super excited, and in this video we're going to be going over the topics of how to launch a custom missile, how to make a custom missile, most effective custom missiles. I've gotten a nice list up for some of the best ones, so let's just take a look. So, some of the best ones, I have three custom missiles that are the best in my opinion. So, we'll start off with this one. You need a tier 5 missile uh, targeting circuit. They need a 1.5 meter uh, size because the body says top size 1.5 meters and the bottom size is 1.5 meters. So that's why you need the top size to be 1.5 meters. And then, so that's the body. And then on the rocket fins, it says bottom size 1.5 meters. And so you get uh, your bottom, so you get your fins, says size 1.5 meters. And then you have the um, option between all three of these thrusters. Because, I'm sorry, oh. Okay, you do not, you, I'm sorry, you cannot choose these thrusters. So this is all you need to make your first custom missile. And so let's put it together. It also needs to be kerosene and, perox uh, kerosene and peroxide because... It says kerosene peroxide is what fuel this rocket takes. So let's put it together. So what you need to do, you need a missile, you need a missile assembly station. So you put it all together like the rocket here. You put your fin here. You put your body right there. And you put your top there. And then you put your uh, missile targeting circuit. So the thing... So you can actually have, there's multiple different missile car targeting circuits. There's one, two, three, four, five. So the tier one has 10% inaccuracy. The tier two has 5% inaccuracy. The tier three is 1% inaccuracy. The tier four has 0.5% accuracy. And the tier five has zero accuracy. So you can take any of these. Just the lower you get, the less accuracy it has. Let's put it in. So when you put all of your things together, you just assemble it by clicking on this button right here. It makes it take your rocket and how to make your launching pad. All that you need is a any battery, but you need enough of it. You need a battery, a long range targeting designator, a large launch pad. You can only launch custom missiles on large launch pads. So you just need that and then you need since this is uh, hydrogen peroxide and kerosene, the rocket takes kerosene and hydrogen peroxide, so you need these. Some rockets just need fuel, and but this rocket needs these, so we're going to take these. So all that you need to do is place your launch pad right here. And when you do so, all that you need to do, just click in the middle right here. You need to put your rockets in the rocket place that's right here and then you need to select the right size um it doesn't really matter like it doesn't have to be so specific just click on the one until it like shows green in this box and then the and then you put your battery in this and then you get your infinite battery then you put your hydrogen in here and your kerosene in here and now you're almost ready to launch all that you need now is a detonator oh right here detonator so you need this and your long-range target designator now let's go choose the location that we want to rocket that we want the rocket to uh, hit at okay guys for example there's this forest so that so say that your enemy's base is here and you want to nuke their place. It might be kind of dangerous to go under all the gunfire, but go up to the block that you want the missile to hit, stand on top of it, look down, and right click on the block. And now it does not matter how far this block is from the missile, it just needs to be selected. Now let's head back. Okay, now that we are back at our launch pad, step on it, you click in the middle right click in the middle put your target designator with the block that you selected right here and now all that you need to do there's actually a couple different ways to ignite this thing but we're just going to do it with the detonator so all that you need to do to ignite it is stand here 
shift in the middle of it and right click. Now it says position set. Now all you have to do is right click on the detonator again and the rocket will launch. And now we will show you how effective this rocket is. So now that the nuclear bomb is finished, um, in that forest, this is the final crater. It is very big, that's why I selected this. And also the radiation span goes out for a long while. So uh, I'm just gonna say I rate this bomb 8 out of 10. Now let's head back and do the other ones. Okay guys, now that we're back at the base, Let's start out and just make another uh, assembly. So now that I've showed you how to do all the first steps, now we can just start launching the rockets. So the second of the best, well, second one is this one. And for this one, you can actually use these two rockets for yours, and all they need is this. So let's take all of these items, go to your missile assembly station, Put the thruster here. And now that you have all your missile parts in place, just click this button like I showed you. Take your missile, go up to your launch pad, put it in, and I will select a new location for the rocket to hit. Alright, we've now found our block, right there, now let's head back to base. Okay, now we're back at base, we'll just put our target design, long range target designator in, same place, and you don't have to um, do this anymore because you already selected it, so all we have to do is just click it again. Now let's go to where, let's see the destruction. And now that the nuclear bomb is done, this is the crater that it causes. Now, that was that rocket, and let's head back to base now. Okay everyone, now we are back at the base. This is the third and final rocket. What you're gonna need, tier five missile targeting circuit, you need size 15 nuclear warhead, size 1.5. You need this kerosene and peroxide. You need this one. 
this one, and you can also choose from any of these three that you'd like. Let's take these. Assemble. Create. And I also like this one because the design of it is like a US, it's like a rocket ship. Now let's put it in and let's go get our, let's go get a new target. Okay, I actually just want to see what will happen to a nuclear bunker in this mod if we uh, launch it right in here. So we're just going to put it right in here. So now the missile will be coming right in here. So let's see what happens. It's actually literally right next to our thing, so let's just see what happens. It, it also just looks like a rocket. It just looks like a uh, rocket. Let's put this in. And now let's do this. Alright guys, now that, now that the nuclear bomb is finished, I don't know why the rest of this did not uh, explode, but this, you can kind of see how big this crater would be. And uh, this is what your nuclear shelter is going to look like if a nuclear bomb hits it directly. It is very effective, and this is honestly one of my favorite ones. And the reason why that many of these blocks did not break it's because these are made for bunkers and it has a blast resistance of 3,600. So probably many of these blocks to survive. But still some of them broke. And, but yeah. Now that you guys have all seen these awesome missiles, that's going to be the video. Um, everybody that is watching, please like and subscribe. It really helps out. Have a good day and bye.